Take a look around you. Right now, you're in a safety training facility. Everyone who's going to enter an offshore wind turbine in the real world must complete a week-long safety introduction course and, among other things, learn how cold water wetsuits, life rafts and other safety equipment actually work and how to rescue yourself and your colleagues out of a helicopter underwater. This is one of the reasons why only our specially trained turbine technicians are allowed to enter the turbines. Fortunately, we have virtual reality. Using state-of-the-art camera technology, we can give you an experience that's quite close to reality. But you may feel a bit dizzy. If so, please sit down or hold on to something. And if you feel any discomfort, please remove your glasses. Ready? Very good. Let's go. The ship that you're on is one of our service vessels. We use it to transfer our wind turbine technicians to our offshore wind turbines. You're now on your way to Anhalt Offshore Wind Farm, 15 kilometers offshore. The wind turbines that you can see all around you are only a small part of the Anhalt Offshore Wind Farm. The wind farm consists of 111 offshore wind turbines and covers an area corresponding to more than 12,000 soccer fields. The wind farm can supply green power to 400,000 Danish households annually and is an important step in our conversion from black to green energy. Ten years ago, 15% of our electricity and heat came from green energy, but today, more than half comes from green energy. Over the last 10 years, we've reduced our CO2 emissions by more than 50% and will continue on this path. We're building even more offshore wind farms so that we can contribute to creating a world that runs on green energy. Try and look up. The wingspan of the wind turbine is 120 meters, and the wind turbines in the wind farm are 141 meters tall. In comparison, Big Ben in London is 96 meters tall. Then try and look down. The foundation of the wind turbine is a single large steel pipe, and there's approximately 10 meters from here to the sea surface. It requires a lot of steel to keep the wind turbine fixed in the seabed. We're constantly working on making the foundations lighter so we can use less steel and on using larger and more efficient wind turbines that produce more power. This will contribute to lowering the price of green energy from offshore wind turbines. Our goal is that power from offshore wind turbines should be cheaper than power from coal or natural gas. And we're constantly getting closer to achieving our goal. In 2012, we decided that offshore wind should be 35 to 40 percent cheaper by 2020. We achieved that goal more than three years before time. Let's go on up in the turbine to get a slightly broader perspective. You're lucky there's a lift so that you don't have to climb the 80 meters up the ladder. We've already built more than a thousand offshore wind turbines off the coast of Denmark, Germany and the UK. That's more than every fourth offshore wind turbine in the world. In 2020, 17 million people will have green power from offshore wind turbines installed by Dong Energy. We've also started to look at the possibilities for building offshore wind farms in the USA and Asia. You're now inside the nacelle, as we call it in wind turbine terms. This is the technical room of the wind turbine, and this is where you'll find, among other things, the gearbox and the actual generator, which is the one producing the power. Let's open the top so you can go all the way up. There, now you're right at the top. There are offshore wind turbines as far as the eye can see, and they're located in a pattern so they harness the wind in the best possible way and produce as much green power as possible. I'll keep quiet now and let you enjoy the view. Have fun. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the trip.